Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? Joe Sherkamak is back here with another video. And Saturday night, the night before the Super Bowl, can you believe it? Another NFL season coming to an end. So sad, right? But hey, what better way to go out with a bang? So, night before the Super Bowl, or Su Super Bowl Eve, you could call it. So, I'm going to be giving you my game pick for tomorrow night's Super Bowl. A winner take all. So, let's jump right on into it. Uh, no need to talk about the no need to talk about like the seating. It is the Bengals against the Rams. Who would have thought the Bengals are the team representing the AFC in the Super Bowl? Who would have thought that, man? Not the Be not the Chiefs, not the Titans, not the Ravens, but the Bengals in the Super Bowl for the AFC. Really, really impressive. Uh, so of course, as the normal Super Bowl tradition goes, uh, you know you get a week off. So teams, uh, both teams, I think in general are doing pretty well health health wise. Uh, and of course, the Rams did lose Robert Woods to a torn ACL, but besides that, I think both teams are pretty healthy. And again, they had an extra week to recover and get and get healthier, or at least healthy enough to play. So I don't think there'll be any big inactives tomorrow, as far as I know. I mean, of course, the big guys like Burrow, Stafford, Chase, all those guys, they're going to be active. So this is going to be a healthy, big battle. I'd have to think this is going to be a pretty, pretty good game. Um, because I think both teams... Uh, have their flaws. Both teams are beatable, yet both teams can also put up a lot of points. And I don't know. It's going to be interesting because both defenses, I think, are kind of flying under the radar, especially the Bengals' defense. It has really gotten better down the stretch. Actually, it got off to a pretty good start. Then it kind of had a rough stretch. But to end the season and in the playoffs, it's been really, really good. I mean, they were pretty good against the Raiders excellent against the Titans, and really stiffened up against the Chiefs in the second half. Had a really rough first half, but they were unbelievable in the second half. So don't sleep on the Bengals' defense. The Rams' defense has also, has also come on strong, too. It's been inconsistent this year, but the pass rush is doing really well. Ramsey having an incredible season, really making his mark as perhaps the best corner in the league. So... Both defenses are flying under the radar. I mean, of course, and then offensively, that you got firepower all over the place. Burrow and Chase, and then you got Stafford and Cup and Beckham, who has had quite uh, a good playoff run. So it's going to be really, really interesting to see who comes out on top and if a defense can get a stop to because I think that's what it's going to come down to. I think in general it's going to be high scoring, but it's going to come down to can one defense, can, it, can one of the defenses get at least a stop or two to pull it out? Um, I definitely do not expect a um, repeat of last year where literally the Bucks destroyed them and Mahomes was running for his life every play. However, I do think we're going to see similar issues that the Chiefs had when it comes to protecting Burrow. I think the Bengals protecting Burrow is going to be a big-time issue in this one. Rams have maybe the best pass rush in the league. Aaron Donald, obviously, but you also have Leonard Floyd and Vaughn Miller. Vaughn Miller, you know, it, it was it was kind of rumored, or I shouldn't say rumored, but it was kind of... Um, uh, I guess suggested that he was past his prime and over the hill. He might be a bit, but you know, ever since he got traded to the Rams, he's actually been pretty good, and he's. I feel like he's kind of had a great uh, down the stretch run. So Von Miller is very good. Leonard Floyd is very good, and then of course you have Aaron Donald, who's going to go down as one of the best defensive players like of all time. So the pass rush is very good. Bengals have a lot of firepower on offense. Their team in general, I think, is very talented. They're young. The one problem though. I shouldn't say they're one problem, but one of their big problems, their offensive line is not very good. It's been an issue all year. Protecting Burrow, I think it's going to be a big-time issue in this one. I don't see how they're going to hold up against Donald, Miller, and Floyd. That just seems like too much to ask for. And then when it comes to that wide receiver trio, you got Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, and T. Higgins. I'd have to think that T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd are going to be uh, getting more targets because Chase, the Rams, are going to shadow him, I would have to think. It's going to be inter interesting to see if they trust Ramsey and just put Ramsey on Chase one-on-one -on -one, or if they give uh, Ramsey help or if they play zone. It's going to be interesting to see what they do, but I'd have to think that the, one of the Rams' big priorities is taking Chase out of the equation. So Burrow and, or excuse me, um, Higgins and Boyd are really going to have to make their mark in this game. And I think that, that they needed to come up big against the Chiefs last week. Chase, I mean, he kind of got it going later in the game, but Chase in general was not big. I shouldn't say last week, the week before, or the last game, I should say. Chase didn't do too much in the game against the Chiefs, but Higgins and Boyd both came up big, and Chase just got the job done. So if the Rams are able to take Chase out of the equation, Higgins and Boyd need to come up big. And I do trust them to do that, but at the same time, the Bengals, I've been saying this for a while, and I've been proven wrong every time, 
But the Bengals are so young, and I, I think that's kind of the big issue in this one. I think they're too young. And again, I know. I've been saying this throughout the whole playoffs. I said that the Bengals would uh, probably be a first or second round exit because they're too young. They Again, they've proven me wrong every single time. You've got to give credit to the Bengals. I, I know I'm biased as a Ravens fan. I will give credit to the Bengals. They have been underdogs the whole time, beat the Raiders at home, went into Tennessee and won, went into Kansas City and won. you got to give them credit. My bigger complaint is I think Burrow is really overrated. He has not had to do too much. The defense has led the charge. But Burrow's been good enough. But I think in this game, Burrow is really going to have to play a really good game. I think he's going to have a lot of pressure in his face. I think that the Rams will score a lot of points. So I think Burrow is really going to have to be on his A game if the Bengals are going to win this game. I'm not sure I trust him yet. He's very young, and I think he has a ton of potential. And I think he's already, uh, he's most certainly an above average quarterback. Um, but I, I don't know if he's going to do that yet. I, he's, he's again, he's so young. He's only in his second year. I think he has a lot of potential down the road, but I don't think he's going to get the ring this year. I think the Rams, they, of course, made it in 2018, but got dominated by the Patriots. I mean, their defense played well, but their offense could not do anything. Um, I think it's going to be a little bit different this go-around. You don't have the genius Bill Belichick at head coach. Zach Taylor's a good coach, but he's no Bill Belichick. Um, and I think the Rams are going to come out on top. Rams so desperate for a Super Bowl after falling short in 2018. They've been competing every year. I trust McVay. I think he's very, very talented as a play caller and coach in general. The defense is playing well. Stafford needs that ring so badly. Uh, Beckham needs the ring. Everyone needs the ring. I want Stafford to get his ring. As you guys would expect, I'm most certainly cheering for the Rams in this one because as a Ravens fan, I can't like the Bengals. So we will see what happens, guys. Um, I will see if I can get a recap in for this game. I hope to find time for it. It might be a little bit busy. I will keep you guys posted. But enjoy the Super Bowl. My final pick for this game, I'm going to take the Rams 31-28 to in this one. I could see it being a game-winning field goal. I could see it going to overtime. But I think in general, a higher scoring game. But the Rams come out on top 31-28 to win the Super Bowl and take it all. So, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Let me know in the comments what your picks are. I'm really, really curious. But I had the Rams take it home, 31-28, and we will see what happens. Enjoy the game, guys. I hope I hope it's a more entertaining game than last year. And go Rams if you're a Ravens fan like me. But good luck to both teams, and we will see what happens.